guys, this is how you do for a plow. To so cut those stick, awesome. Uh, gymnastic body weight movement. Let me show you one repetition, then we'll talk about the purpose. And that will give us the points of performance. So I'm gonna start sitting here. I'm gonna find feel my my plow, and for that I'm gonna come here and aggressively bring those hips. Use my hands to keep that back in place. Uh, then I'm gonna extend my legs and I find my candlestick, and then I'm gonna come slow and control. Find the the ground and. Bring the legs back up, slow and control, find my plow, and bring the legs back up to full candlestick, right? You can even have your hands here for added fun, but I prefer having my hands here so I can have a better position. So. Purpose, uh, first of performance. So the purpose of this movement is extension of the hips. We're always working extension of the hips in this way, right? Uh, in this way, uh, and we're always and, and 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 even on this way, but never in the negative, right? Uh, it's hard to find movements, uh, maybe a reverse hyper. Uh, a, some strict tour, but it's hard to find movements in which, in which uh, a, it's a closed chain in the sense that your body at the bottom is stable by the shoulder joint, is stable by the hips, and it's just the legs moving, right? And so that is the value of that movement. Uh, a, that is a function of those of those muscles, and that is a function that we should train a little bit. No. And um, and so uh, that's what we're looking for, right? That's that's what yeah. Uh, it will tell uh, it will train you to do right and so uh, uh, let me talk to you uh, through the points of performance and even uh, some progressions uh, so if you have never done before uh, this before start with the progressions and then try to find the movement so as I said at the beginning let me see this position you might see me a little bit better so I'm gonna start here I'm gonna go on the ground talk and the first thing is to start with just a talk and what you can do is let your knees come all the way down, touch the floor, tuck, and up, right? And so just this movement is actually going to be very good. And it's going to be very good because it's allowing you to teach your body to uh, extend that lower back uh, purposefully which is something that we also don't practice uh, that much because the movements that we practice don't, don't have that and it's a function of that lower back and it's very important, right? Uh, the muscles that stabilize your lower back are the muscles also that extend it, extend it and so it's important that we practice that. So that will be the first progression uh, and there's not a lot of points of performance there but now when we get to the plow, uh, so start the same way, so bring the knees, touch your hands and then what I'm going to try to do is keeping that talk I'm gonna try to extend my back a little bit more. And as you'll see, it's a little bit more extended. There's always gonna be a round, uh, a, some rounding there, that's fine. And now I'm gonna go into my candlestick, right? And so now my hips and my, and my lower back, not my upper back, should be aligned. And I'm gonna try to keep them aligned. That is really where the movement is, right? They will round here, but I'm trying to not let that happen that much. Flexibility will make me round here. So if you can be completely extended and touch, that's awesome, that's better. I cannot, right? So I have to round. But I'm trying. And then I'm gonna keep the legs extended, find that hip position, and up. And again, I'm gonna keep that, the, the pelvis and the back aligned for the longest time that I can, until uh, I can't anymore, touch back up, back to candlestick, and uh, that is it, fun simple play, simple movement, excellent movement to warm up uh, uh, your back in a very gentle and, and, and complete way, second thing that it is doing there, not a, not a primary function but that is doing and that it will be good whenever you uh, uh, feel a little bit tight on the neck is gonna be stretching your traps uh, which is awesome because uh, if you follow my videos and train with me 
you're probably conditioning a lot, you're probably lifting a lot of weights, and so your traps get cooked and you probably don't stretch them or work them enough. So this movement has also that purpose. So if you see it in your workouts, you know what's the, what's the twofer there that we're looking for. Uh, anyhow, that's how that's, uh, Klaus do.